Identity and Access Management, or IIM, in Google Cloud gives you fine-grained control over permissions, but it can be complex to manage. The IIM Policy Troubleshooter tool can help in investigating issues as to why a user has access to a resource or doesn't have permission to call an API. Let's walk through how to use the Policy Troubleshooter. We can access Policy Troubleshooter using the Cloud Console, the G Cloud Command Line tool, or the REST API. For simple queries, using the Cloud Console is easy and includes a visual aid. For more complex scenarios, consider using the G Cloud tool or the REST API. In this video, we'll focus on using Policy Troubleshooter through the Cloud Console and getting the details of a project. First off, we'll need three parameters to use Policy Troubleshooter, principal, resource, and permission. The principal field is the email address to check, which can refer to a user or a service account. Let's use a user account with the email user at tse.junix.net. The resource field is the full name of the resource we want to test against. The path of the full name varies depending on the resource type. For example, the path for our project is cloudresourcemanager.googleapis.com slash projects slash my project. You can see a full list of resource names in the documentation, or you can use the autocomplete function. The permission field is the permission we're checking the user for. Similar to the resource field, a list of permissions will be presented as we start to type. Let's use resourcemanager.projects.git, which grants access to retrieve the project. For a complete list of permissions, check the permissions reference documentation. The required permission to access a resource may also be displayed as part of a permission denied error. You can always refer to the specific product documentation page for a list of roles and permissions that are required to access the resources. We can also add additional resources and permissions to check for the principal by clicking on Add Additional Pair if desired. We'll click on Check API Call and a results page will come up. By default, the results will be displayed in Compact View, which will only show the roles that contain the permission that we've checked for. We can click the toggle to see the full view, displaying all the roles for our resources IAM policy. At the top of the page, we can quickly see whether the user is granted the permission on the resource. We can see that our user has the permission for resourcemanager.projects.git in our project. Additional details on the policy results are also displayed below. The first warning, you do not have permission to view all policy bindings, may occur if this is a resource that's under an organization. The user doesn't have the permission to view hierarchical IAM policies on the organization and or the folder levels. To resolve this, the user would need a role such as security reviewer at the organization level. The second warning, you do not have permission to view specific group memberships, may be due to the user not having group admin permissions. To resolve this, a G Suite administrator could grant the user a role with the groups.read permission. The left pane contains a list of roles that apply to the given resource and an icon, which shows if our user has a binding to that role. We can click on the role to highlight the specifics. The green check next to the owner role indicates that this binding grants access to our user. The right pane displays the raw text of each binding, highlighting each line for the roles and members. Lines that don't match our user are shown in red, and ones that match are green. Yellow means that the policy troubleshooter can't evaluate the binding. In this case, it's likely due to the warning earlier about the lack of permissions to view group memberships. Read more about the policy troubleshooter in the documentation.